such a secret mouse, dude. What's under that table? <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is that trainer jet. That's cool. You are watching the RC Jet Jock, and this is Jet Trainer. So what do we have here today? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. We got the E Flight Habu STS trainer. Supposedly no experience required, so we're going to put that to the test. This is going to be kind of our unboxing slash uh, assembly video. Um, we've done most of the unboxing because, well, the box was too fit, uh, too big to fit in the airplane. So um, this is uh, about as uh, much of unboxing as we're going to get. So, um, girls, y'all want to show all the different parts? Yeah. It even comes with a simulator for you practicing on your computer with the exact same plane. I'm that, pretty sure this is the plug. Yep, that's it. That's that's the um, wireless uh, dongle for your computer. I'm going to find that, find out about that today. I did it on this. Alright, so let's show them what else we got. What else came with it? We got wheels. Yep, we got the landing gear package with the nose steering servo already attached. <laughs> Yep, we got an afterburner. And then uh, it also came with a uh, four, uh, yeah, 4,000 milliamps uh, 3S smart battery and smart battery charger. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get this thing assembled. What do y'all think? I'll put on the wheels and I'll put on the afterburner. As you can tell, the girls were really excited about getting started on the build of the Habu STS. It took us approximately 45 minutes to get it put together, but that's because, well, I wanted the kids to be involved with most of the building process. And if I wasn't such a perfectionist, they could have done the whole thing themselves. For an experienced modeler, it would probably take about 15 minutes. As you can see, we struggled a little bit getting the nose wheel installed because it took eight screws. The wings attached easily with four screws and have a plug mounted into the foam so you don't have to deal with messy wires either. The balancing of the aircraft proved to be a little more tricky. With the 3S we couldn't get balance so we had to put a half an ounce of nose weight in the nose and then that worked well. What are we going to do? And hopefully give you a chance to do it, huh? Hopefully. There she Let is, the Habu. Well, I guess I should have turned my radio. Oh, you turned it on already. <laughs> Let it do its initialize. That's going to wag its tail, and that tells me it's ready to go. Much better. All right. I'm going to get it up one mistake high, is what they call it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm switching to safe mode now. See, look how much down it'll go. Dang. So, you got. No, it will not take over, okay? So you need to catch it, okay? All right, you ready? You know how to do your turns, right? Okay, I've got trim. Oh, shoot, it's already saying that it's critical. What? Uh-huh. It's already dead? Yeah, it's already saying it's dead, guys. <laughs> really? So, I told you. I'm coming in for landing. Ugh, I do not like those batteries. Well, you got... Some junk batteries there, huh? Brand new. Came with the model. But look at the float on this plane. That was, that was, um, 58. It's already flashing on the last dot. I mean, that's the battery that came with the airplane. That's a 
3S smart battery, 4,000 milliamp, being flown at half power. Um, so, uh, I, I mean, no one can learn on that. No. Nope. Yeah. Knowing three dots now. So maybe the telemetry is confused. So we're going to go ahead and we'll we'll put the meter on the battery and just we'll see what we're doing. 74%. So there was something off with the telemetry, mm -hmm. apparently. So, um, all right. Yeah. So uh, I guess there's something wrong with the telemetry and how it's talking to the uh, radio. So we're going to take it up again. I'll get it leveled off and hand it over to you. Yay. All right. Crappy takeoff. What's up? I'm just getting altitude, baby. Okay, here you go. All right. Other way, other way. There you go. Turn, keep turning. Keep that turn. You have to hold it down. Don't want to get too far away, okay? Keep that turn coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And stop the turn. There you go. Good job, boo. And this is all her flying. No buddy box or anything. Okay, start coming back to me. A daddy turn. Daddy turn. Daddy turn. There you go. Just like that. See? Okay. There we go. Here, you're fine. Let it fly straight. Good job. Yeah, you're doing good. Though. Turn uh, away from Daddy. There we go. Now turn towards me. All the way. Crank it over. Yeah. Crank it over. There you go. Good job. And stop the turn. Okay. Crank it all the way over to Daddy again. There you go. All right. Okay. Crank it towards me again. Actually, go the other way. Go away from Daddy. There you go. Good job. take it and land it now because yeah it's, it's still blanking on one but i mean I, I think what we've been up for about another minute and a half or so yep that's some good flying safely dead sticks from there <laughs> yeah but you know i've had experience where you run that battery too low and there's no dead stick performance either right. i'm dead sticked right now by the way on advanced mode i mean this is absolute dead stick on advanced mode yeah, that thing floats like a feather doesn't it Again. And you got the best landing in the world by the so-called instructor right there. You can't get much worse than that. But it dead sticked all the way in. That thing just floats. Very nice. All right, guys, RC Jet Jock here, and we are going to try out the Habu Trainer Jet on 4S this morning. Make sure you pull back on your stick if you're going to go that far, okay? Okay, put your turn towards Daddy. Good. 
Good job. Very nice. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Don't overfly. There you go. Stop the turn. Sports heading, sports heading, sports heading. One more, more. I got it. Yeah. Punching out. I'm getting your reset. Okay. It's all about learning, boo. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Good job, baby. You're doing great. Okay, turn towards daddy. Four. There you go. Nice. Let's see those wings. Good job. Stop. That's it. Now turn away from daddy. Away from daddy. There you go. Now turn towards daddy. Now bring it around. Get towards daddy. Towards daddy. Okay, I got it. Three fifty. And I'm still going to have some float, watch. It's like no bad characteristics. That thing floats forever, man. Uh -huh. There you have it. Two training flights on the Habu STS in the books. It is a great flying airplane, a little underpowered on 3S, as you can see, but on 4S, she's a great aircraft. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and get your families and your children involved in this beautiful hobby. We'll see you next time.